Hello everyone and welcome to Facebook Friday Live. Woohoo! It's Friday. I hope you have had a fantastic week. Mine has certainly been very, very busy, very active. I'm in my busy season now of traveling and training and I'm loving every minute of it. Uh, last week I got to teach our World Class Assistant course here. I taught it in Las Vegas. I had 28 outstanding assistants from all over, even Canada. And we had an amazing three days with each other, the content, the bonding, everything. So I'm, I, hi Karen, happy Friday. So I'm always pumped up after I've had uh, several days with assistants, you know, my favorite uh, group in the world. And then Monday I'm leaving, I'm heading to Columbus, Ohio to Nationwide Insurance. I'm very excited. I'm going to be teaching rural class assistant on site at Nationwide. So. In addition, it's just been super, super busy. So yes, as you join me, please say hello. Um, I'm excited about today's topic. It is near and dear to my heart, and I know many assistants struggle with this. Prioritizing tips that work. Wow, I can't wait to share my ideas with you. And I, I hope we have a lot more people come on today because this is a hot topic. Not only for assistants though, let me tell you that people of all uh, levels and careers struggle with prioritizing. Oh, hello, Alessandro, Alessandra from Milan. Ooh, that's my goal to get to Italy in two years, Alessandra. So um, anyway, everyone struggles with prioritizing and uh, I have some three great trips for you t today that are going to truly change your life. So first of all, I want to tell you a, a little story. Um, earlier this week on Monday, I actually went in and worked with an executive here in town. And he is somebody I've known for a while. And he was just struggling so much with how to prioritize and how to get organized and how to really focus and how to determine which is the most important thing to get done. So as I said, as assistants, you're not the only ones who struggle. Everyone struggles with this. And it was wonderful because I spent actually four hours with him. Um, and we went through an array of things and boy, by the time I left, he felt so much more confident. He knew his A priorities. He knew what he had to do. So let's get into the meat of this. First of all, before I get to the tips, you need to understand the psychology. So let's talk about your thinking for a moment about your work, about, you know, when your head swells with all these things you have to do and you feel overwhelmed and you feel stressed and you think, oh my gosh, I do not have enough time to get everything done. So, hello Mary. All right, if you're just joining me, we're getting into the psychology of prioritizing before I get to the three tips I want to share with you. And if you like what you're hearing, please give me a thumbs up or hearts. Then I know that you are pleased with what I am saying. So uh, the first thing is we live in a society where uh, we believe that everything is urgent and important, right? We just live in the society of we've got to do it now. We've got to have it now. We've got to respond to it now. Everything's fast, fast, fast and we get pulled into all of that. Well, the truth is, everything is not important. Everything is not urgent. We are just, like I said, we are pulled into this. You know, when you look at all those emails and you think, oh my God, I've got to respond to everybody right now. No, you don't. So first of all, you've got to get your head in the right place when it comes to prioritizing your work and a false sense of urgency versus a true sense, sense of urgency. You have to differentiate. Everything is not urgent and important. Believe me, I know this. I, I run a business, I have to juggle a hundred things 
and it's something I've worked on since I became a secretary out of high school. So I'm excited. Like I said, I know I'm going to make your life easier if you could really buy into what I'm telling you. Second, with the psychology, when you're looking at everything that has to be done, you have to think about, is this truly important? Again, is this truly important? You have to think about what I do with this. Is it going to make a difference? Is it going to have impact? Today, it is not about busy work. And as assistants, you get caught up in a lot of busy work. Um, and a lot of times, your executives are giving you a lot of busy work. So you have to uh, have the courage and the discipline to think about what you're dealing with, what you're looking at. Is it truly important? And if it is important, is it important urgent or is it important um, not urgent? Okay, and we'll talk about that in a little while. Uh, the other piece with the psychology, hello Natalie and thank you. The other part with psychology is you have to believe that you have the right to stop at least maybe twice a day and look at what is on your desk, what is on your to-do list. You have to look at the big picture and again think, okay, what must I get done today? What is the most important? But I'm going to share with you later a little secret and you're going to stop asking what's most important and it will change how you prioritize, I promise you. So stay tuned. Um, so the idea is like, well, first of all, when you come in in the morning, this is what I do. When I come in in the morning, I already know my priorities. I set those last night before I left this office. Now for me as a business owner, of course, I do work at night, so I may have to reprioritize. But other than that, when I come in, I know exactly my A1, it's sitting here on my desk. You're probably wondering what I'm pointing to. Well, I have a, a tray here that is my A priority tray. So then maybe later in the day, maybe around 11 o'clock, I reassess because now emails have come in, people have, you know, been uh, maybe requesting things, Malia has asked for stuff, maybe my marketing team. So around 11 a.m., I'll take a look and again, I reassess and I'll actually, just to show you, I'm a, I'm a show and tell person. I actually will maybe take a stack because I have a stack that all has to be done today and I'll revisit them and I'll say, okay, is this still the A1? Is this the two? Is this the three? And I may move things around because now I'm running out of time, okay? And especially, I know I'm leaving Monday morning. I'm out of pocket four days next week because I'm teaching. I've got to know exactly what I have to do today before five o'clock. So do you see some of my stuff? I have a real sense of urgency on. The other time uh, of day might be around like maybe three o'clock. You take a look. Again, you look at the big picture. You look at everything that's on your desk, that's on your to-do list, all the new stuff that's come in. You stop and you reprioritize. You, re you reassess. You may not reprioritize. You may say, oh yeah, this is still the A1 and this is still the A2, okay? Um, but you have to reassess. So those of you who are just joining me, I want to tell you quickly, you have not missed the tips yet. I'm on the psychology. Your thinking comes first before the process. You can have all kinds of processes in place, but if you don't get your head in the right place, your processes are not going to work. I always start with the thinking and where your head is. So again, to recap, when we think about the psychology of all of this, it's, it's, again, thinking about and knowing everything is not urgent. Everything is not important. You do not have to instantly respond to an email. If it's not urgent, it's not important. No, you save it for later in the day and you focus on your A priorities. 
Um, the other part of that psychology, like I said, is stopping two or three times throughout the day to reassess your work and determine if you need to reset the priorities. And then the last is, um, let's see, I think that was the last point with the psychology. Oh, the other piece I want to reiterate again is there is a difference between being busy and doing work that makes a difference and has impact. You can be doing a lot of busy work and you're getting nowhere. So, uh, Chrissy, hello from London. Wow, that's awesome. Well, you know what? Speaking of London, I'm going to be there next March. I have accepted a wonderful in invitation from Lucy Brazier, and I'm going to be heading to London next March to speak. So, anyway, let's get into the tips. And uh, I want to tell you, it is not as difficult as you think. I cannot believe people make such a big deal about setting their priorities. They get so stressed and they get all worked up. I have been using a simple process for years and I'm always on it. And I, I guarantee this will work if you do it. The other thing is when you find a good process, you have to stick with it. You must stay consistent. Again, if you like what you're hearing, send me hearts, send me thumbs up, and I hope you share this with your, your friends because every person in the workplace struggles with prioritizing. Well, not every, <laughs> but I'd say the majority do. So here are the three main things I wanna share with you. Take notes, they're really simple. First, one idea or one technique I use, it's called the ABC system. Very simple, but everyone on my team knows what ABC means, and I use it with my own prioritizing. So in my office, A means it, it has to be done within 24 hours. That's an A. It can't sit, it's gotta be done. The B, is something that needs to be done maybe within three days, okay? Three or four days, let's say. Our C items, maybe over the next month or two months, it's not hot, it needs to be done, but, or, or yeah, it needs to be done, but um, there's no urgency to it. So very quickly, in my head, as work comes in, as things come in to me, as they, uh, projects come in, emails come in, new clients come in, Quickly, I assess in my brain, is it something I need to do to respond to within 24 hours? It goes into the A stack. And then I prioritize the A's. Is it an A1, an A2, or an A3? Is it a B, B1, B2, B3? So all day long, I am filtering in my priorities. So as I showed you, I have my stack, let's say of today, you know, these are the A1s. So as something new comes in, I get it. I'm going to say, is it more important than this? No. So this stays on top. So throughout the day, I'm constantly filtering. And then I take those two or three breaks where I reassess and maybe reprioritize. This is a gem of a tip. And you do it right in your head, okay? This is a great... Um, system to use with your executive. If your executive understands that system, then your executive could easily say to you, let's say Gail from Delray Beach, Gail, this is an A priority. Right away, Gail knows her executive wants that in 24 hours. Or I'd say, Gail, this is a B priority. Then Gail would say, okay, I've got, you know, three, four days. And then Gail can take all her Bs and then establish them as a B1, a B2, a B3. C's again, no hurry. And you know what sometimes happens with your C's? They have, some of them eventually go away because you realize they really don't have to be done. Everything is about impact today. What you do, your time is precious. You have to do things that have impact and truly make a difference. So number one, first Idea is to use the ABC system. I use it all the time with myself. I even use it in my personal life, okay? On the weekend, what must I absolutely get done? What's an A this weekend? All right, let's go on my second 
idea is uh, the, the matrix. Let's see, now I gotta work opposite of the camera, so give me a minute. How many of you have seen this before or heard of it? I'm sure some of you have already seen this, but of course, are you using it? Now, I, we use this matrix, matrix in a few of my classes, and I do this in my coaching work. So if you look at this matrix, you have your categories. You have things that are important, and you identify are they urgent or not urgent. Again, I have things right now that are important. But they're not urgent, and since I'm going out of town, I'm not going to worry about them today. But I do have things today that are important. They are urgent because I have to have them done before I leave town on Monday. You better believe that's where my focus is going to be today after I do this Facebook Live with you. Then we have the not important. A lot of things are not important. They're urgent, but they're not necessarily important. And then we have a lot of things that are not important and they're not urgent, but we tend to make them urgent. So with this matrix, and you could create your own, you could just sketch this yourselves. A fun thing to do, what I do in our class, is I have assistants think about the work that they do overall in a week, okay? Or what do you do most often? You know, your meetings, your travel planning, those kinds of things. And I have them drop them into the matrixes. And so when you're done with that, you get kind of a big picture perspective of does most of your work fall in the urgent and important, or does a lot of your work fall more down in here? <laughs> Sorry, we're working in reverse here. And what happens is, you end up spending a lot of time here where you need to be up here. Here is where you need to be every single day before you go on to the other priority items. And this takes focus and it takes discipline. Because I will tell you, as you all know, you get distracted a hundred times a day like everybody else. You get dinged, you get instant messages, you get texts, you've got email popping in. This takes discipline and focus. And on top of it, we have attention deficit. All of us are suffering from attention deficit. So if you want to feel less stressed, be more productive, get your A's out of the way, the psychology is being focused. You are not going to let these other things distract you unless they are an A. And, and that's the best advice I could tell you. You've got to be strong. You have to have the courage to do it. But I could tell you it feels so good when you don't have to stress about your prioritizing. So if you're just joining me, some of you have just coming on. Uh, I hope you'll go back and watch this because early on in this session, I talked about the psychology of prioritizing, how it is so important. You're thinking about it. My tip number one, again, to reiterate, is my ABC system, okay? A means within 24 hours, B means within three to four days, C means within the next few months. And I quickly categorize. Every time things come into me, I'm quickly categorizing. Number two was that matrix I showed you, the time management matrix. So really identifying. Okay, are you ready? Because this is a big one. I am giving you my secret weapon. Okay, I wanna wait till you're ready. So here's the secret weapon I have used for years and years. My secret weapon is, as you are looking at what you think are your A priorities, let's say I have five things today that are all my A's. And I'm trying to figure out which is one, which is two, three, and so forth, right? So I ask the question, here's the magic question. If I had to leave in one hour and I couldn't come back for three days, what would the impact be of not doing this. I don't ask, oh, which is the most important? 
Do you see you get a whole different answer? Imagine you've been called out of the office. There's an emergency. Something's happened to someone in your family or whatever, and you've got to leave and you're not going to be able to access or look at anything in your office for three full days. Believe me, your A1 will pop up. And again, the question is, what will happen if I don't do this? Like if I look at, again, my A priorities that I've got sitting here for today, all right, yeah, this is really, really important. But if I don't really get to it today, if I were gone, when push comes to shove, it will be okay. The earth is not going to fall apart or the world is not going to fall apart because I don't get this done. And what happens is we fake ourselves out. We psych ourselves into believing that, oh my gosh, everything's gonna fall apart if I don't do this right this minute. And I'm not saying ignore your priorities and ignore your executives. All I'm saying is your, your thinking is not the way it should be. Your thinking needs to be more about what's gonna have impact. So let's say for me, if I don't get a client proposal out or this client contract out today, now they've agreed to do the training, that has big impact because that's income, that's revenue to my company. Okay, versus I've got something in here where I've got a publication, Business Management Daily, I need to write an article for the May publication. Do you see, yeah, May is only a couple weeks out, but it is not more important than this stuff, okay? So change your questions. Don't get pulled into this, you know, oh, everything's immediate right now, even if others pull you in. You've got to be the decision maker. You need to use your brain. You have this fabulous brain this fabulous, fabulous brain. And what's happening today, most people are functioning on autopilot. Just, oh, jump to this, jump to that, jump to this, jump to that, respond to this, respond to that email. You're all over the place, you're like a maniac. And I felt that, I felt that way yesterday. Because again, I'm pushing to get a lot of stuff done before I head to Columbus Monday morning and I'm out of pocket for four days. So I have a real sense of urgency, but I have a lot of things, you know what? They're gonna wait till I get back from Columbus. They're not urgent. They're not important. They're just things that need to get done. Does this make sense to you? And I'll tell you, I'll go deeper with my secret. How this secret came to me was about 20 years ago. And I was living in Lansing, Michigan, uh, me and my family. My mom and I, it was uh, in the fall, which is my busiest time of year for training and my conferences and so forth. My mom had suffered a stroke and she passed away and I had to get to Cleveland and I stayed for a whole week to be with my family. Well, at that time, I didn't have a big staff in my office. I think I really had like one person, you know, working. And there were a lot of things I needed to do I was gone a whole week, I came back and I realized the business didn't fall apart because I had taken that time. So that's when it really, the light bulb went off for me that again, what we think is so urgent and we put all this pressure and stress on ourselves is not. Yet you have to keep business moving and you support executives and they've got to keep moving. But all I'm saying in your own head, when all these things hit your desk, know that you can be in control. Again, that's the psychology. I can control everything that comes into me. I am not at the mercy of everyone else. And you have to believe that. And then use the processes. So three simple processes, if you use those, I promise you, if you just use those and you stay consistent, your life will change. Your productivity will increase. You will actually be doing the things that are helping your executive, promoting productivity, that are helping affect your organization. 
you are going to feel rewarded at the end of the day. You are going to have this great self-satisfaction of, wow, I actually did things today that mattered, okay? I made a difference. Uh, now, you're going to have the days. You are going to have the days where you run around like a little hamster in a wheel. I talk about that all the time. You know, you're like the hamster in the wheel. You think you're getting somewhere and you're not getting anywhere. <laughs> You are going to have those days. I'm saying 90% of the time, though, you will feel so much better. So I hope this helped you tremendously. Please share this. Please tell your friends about what I said today and share it because most people, 90% of the people I know struggle in this area. And it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't. Maybe play this video, get a group of your assistants together, go sit in a room together, talk about this, play this, play this. This is good information and it works. You can see I'm passionate about it because I care that you are not all stressed out about trying to prioritize your work. All right, now really quickly, I've got big news, something important I want to tell you that I hope you're going to join in on April 16th, I am going to do uh, uh, just kind of a, a wow webinar <laughs> in honor of Administrative Professionals Week, which is the week after. It's April 16th. It's the concierge assistant, another topic I'm passionate about, how you're that concierge, you're that liaison. Um, and it's going to be 90 minutes, but you don't have to stay all 90 minutes. Remember, if you sign up, you'll get the replay link. But I got more to tell you. Hang on. And uh, see, I'm so excited. I'm going to have great information for you. Then we are having two grand giveaway prizes. We are giving away a seat of registration to World Class Assistant here in Las Vegas this September, our certification designation program. And for the first time, I'm teaching Star Achievement this fall as a public class in Las Vegas, and we're going to give a seat away. Those are uh, $1,800 values. Then also, Purple Lizard is our sponsor for that day. They're a big uh, promotional, um, uh, what do we call it, swag. And they have fabulous stuff. And they are giving us a lot of wonderful goodies to give away. I love giving gifts to assistants. So April 16th. The other thing, I want your help. On April 16th, I want to break our record. We typically get about 6,700 assistants register for our webinars. Please, please, please help me. I want to break over that mark. Let's get as many assistants together as we can to register. So I want you to rally for me. I've been rallying for you for 28 years. Now I want your help. I want to just blow this out of the water. And um, so please, please, please tell everyone you know. And good content. We're going to have fun. Great prizes. We're going to celebrate you. Okay, that's it. <laughs> all right. Well, I love all of you, even though I don't know all of you. But anyway, I love you all. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I may or may not be here next Friday because I'll just be flying back from Columbus, Ohio. But take care, everyone. And uh, keep life simple. Use my three tips on prioritizing. Bye.